So if your doctor says, oh, well, your potassium's not right or your calcium's not right or sodium or whatever, chances are that magnesium has gone down first and then the others start misbehaving. The problem we've had in the past is that people are popping too many calcium tablets and they don't understand this antagonism between the calcium and the magnesium. So last century they thought we needed two calciums per one magnesium and that was our normal balance. And then they worked out, well, maybe not, maybe it's even one calcium to one magnesium, which is a bit closer. But the newest research coming out is actually going, oh, maybe we need two magnesium to one calcium, because the magnesium molecule is a lot smaller than the calcium, and magnesium is quite easily bullied, quite easily pushed down and suppressed by the calcium. At the end of the day, um, we don't actually know how much we need exactly, and that fluctuates from day to day. So if you take a tablet, and it's got even calcium and magnesium, but like maybe your body has got plenty of calcium in it, it just needs more magnesium. What you're doing with that supplement is still overdosing the calcium, it's suppressing the magnesium that's available.